Human rights activists in Malaysia have welcomed an independent inquiry by the United Nations into allegations of war crimes by Sri Lanka. The investigation panel, which was commissioned by United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki moon, says it has found credible evidence of war crimes in the island's separatist conflict in 2009 between the Sri Lankan government and the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam, or LTTE. The report said it has authentic video footage which shows naked and blindfolded prisoners being kicked and forced to cover in the mud before being shot in the head at close range. Malaysian human rights activist Pasupati Chidambaram, however, said that the investigation must include both the Sri Lankan government and the LTTE as the government is accusing the group of perpetrating violence. I think they should investigate both the government of Sri Lanka and LTTE. And only way you can find out the truth. And after finding out the truth, you're talking about reconciliation. All the process can take place. Malaysians held demonstrations in May 2009 to condemn what they claim was sexual and physical violence by the Sri Lankan president, Mahinda Rajapakse. Rape and sexual violence in the last weeks of the conflict was underreported, the panel stated. But photographs of dead female Tamil tiger caddis indicated rape or sexual violence may have occurred. Press TV spoke to a young Tamil who escaped into Malaysia one month back. Following the defeat of the LTTE, he sought shelter in Zone 4 of the welfare camp in northern Vavunia and agreed to an interview on conditions of anonymity. When I was in welfare camp, children and people kept coming, but NGOs were not allowed in. The military took people out of the camp and they never returned or turned up dead. The Sri Lankan High Commissioner to Malaysia, Dr. Don Dayananda Ranasinghe, has denied the war crime allegations. Government of Sri Lanka or the, uh, our armed forces never committed any war crimes in Sri Lanka. But over the 30 years, the most uh, ruthless terrorist organization called LTTE massacred masses of masses of people. Of Sinhalese, Tamils, Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus, Catholics and all. More than 70,000 people have died in the 30-year separatist conflict between the military and LTTE. Sri Lanka's War Commission is in the final stages of preparing a report to the United Nations and the report would be submitted by the second week of next month. But human rights activists point out that the credibility of the report is questionable as the commission was set up by Sri Lankan President Mahinda Rajapakse. Maheshwari Ramakrishnan, Press TV, Kuala Lumpur.